perturbed. Me? Not exactly. I am perturbed, but I'm more perplexed. I'm pondering the puzzle of what happened to the petunias. What petunias? The petunias of Piedmont Hall. You mean the plants they pulled out of the parking lot pavement? No, you perceive that I don't comprehend differences in plants. Those were pansies. There should also be petunias. You mean that there are pansies and petunias at Piedmont Hall? Where'd they come from? Well, Hall purchased purple pansies from Pennsylvania and pink petunias from Peru. I mean, how did they get there? Poppy and Peter planted purple pansies and pink petunias. Where did they plant them? They planted them on the patio under the portico of Piedmont Hall. That's preposterous. You cannot plant pansies and petunias in a paved patio. I didn't say in. Poppy and Peter placed the plants in a pristine porcelain pot that Paul purchased from Paris. Paul probably paid a pretty penny for that pristine porcelain pot from Paris. No, actually Paul was practical. He previously purchased the pristine porcelain pot at a proper price point. Did he pay Poppy and Peter to place the plants in the pot for chance? Oh yeah, and that's what cost a pretty penny. Huh, I wonder if that was an HOA permitted planting. I don't know, but Paul is president of the planning committee, and his pride probably prompted him to promote a pet project that would portray his panache. Now I'm perplexed. Why did Paul pay Poppy and Peter to plant purple pansies and pink petunias at Piedmont Hall in the first place? Paul personally promised that his pet project would provide a pleasant patio for the people at the parties. Parties? What parties? The post-pandemic parties. Post-pandemic parties? Were they public posted? No, they were private parties for the participants of the pickleball, pineapple, poker, politics, and pottery clubs. Okay. Then let me get this straight. Planning Committee President Paul portrayed his panache and procured purple Pennsylvania pansies and pink Peruvian petunias, which he paid Poppy and Peter a pretty penny to plant on the paved patio under the Piedmont portico in a pristine Parisian porcelain pot that he previously purchased at a proper price point. Precisely. So what's your problem? Well, I'm particularly perturbed that Paul's pride prompted him to personally push his pet project to provide a pleasant patio for pickleball, pinochle, poker, politics, and pottery people to partake in private post-pandemic parties. And I presume your perplexity pertains to the plants? Predominantly. So what happened to the petunias? Till friend Peggy pitched them.